on a budget but feel like you can't look expensive? Well, you're wrong. I'm gonna show you 10 easy ways to look expensive on any budget. So let's dive right in. Hello, fashionista. I'm Nancy Queen, and I'm here to help you build a wardrobe full of clothes you love to wear so you love getting dressed every single day. And today we're talking about something that everyone aspires to be wealthy, expensive, but how do you get that look when, when you're on a budget? Well, I'm going to show you some really quick, easy tips that you can put into effect right away that will give you an expensive, elegant look no matter what your budget is. Tip number one on my list is choose quality over quantity. Now this might seem like, well, I don't have much money to spend anyway, but if you do have a fashion budget or clothing budget, spend that money buying some quality pieces that will last for a long time, as opposed to buying fast fashion that's gonna be in and out in one or two seasons. If you buy classic, traditional pieces that are made of good quality that will make your wardrobe expand and allow you to have a very elegant looking wardrobe because you've got quality pieces to begin with. And that doesn't mean that you have to spend a fortune on your pieces. In fact, you can go and Amazon has a whole set of uh, Amazon basics. And since they're called basics, they are classics that will mix and match with other pieces in their collection for years to come. In fact, I'm gonna put some of my favorites in the description below. Here's, here's a, just kind of a little lineup of what I like in the Amazon Basics collection. So think quality over quantity and buy some nice quality pieces in your budget that will last you for years, not just one season. Tip number two is mix quality pieces with inexpensive pieces. Now this may seem kind of backwards why you would do that, but there's one celebrity who did this, an actress at the, I don't know if it was the, I think it was at the Academy Awards, Sharon Stone. She took a black turtleneck and paired it with a gorgeous skirt and it made actually headline news. You can still find articles about it today. She still owns that t turtleneck. It was a gap turtleneck, I believe. And it was just a plain black classic turtleneck that here we're talking about it 20, 30 years later. It's still actually very relevant, very in style. And she took that inexpensive item and paired it with a very expensive item. And that is a great way to up level up your wardrobe, especially if you like to shop vintage. I've had a lot of you comment to me about that you like adding vintage. Well, if you go and you buy classic pieces that are basics and you mix them in with something unique and vintage that you found that's kind of a one of a kind piece, that's going to level up your whole wardrobe because you're not wearing like a mishmash of, of pieces that don't make sense. So here's what I like to do. Think of it this way. You're going to start with a basic tee and then you're going to add a pair of jeans. But if you, let's say you found this vintage jacket that you're absolutely in love with, you can take that, pair it over. It's going to really make your whole outfit pop. It's going to give a great look, but you've mixed and matched a an inexpensive piece that you got at a thrift store with some classic basic pieces, it gives you a very polished, expensive look. Tip number three I have for you is choose clothes that fit you properly and that work for your body. Now I'm gonna start a whole series on buying clothes for your body type because I think this is a big thing that a lot of women just don't know what to do. And if you're buying clothes that fit your body, that flatter your figure, you are going to have a very elegant look no matter what you have on because you're wearing things that just enhance your assets. Tip number four I have for you is wear a very monochromatic look. Now, it, nothing will make you look taller and more elegant and refined than wearing monochromatic look. And actually, you can take this as a tip from the queen because if you notice, she always wears one color head to toe. All of the royals wear one color head to toe. It's a classic look that is an easy way to look expensive, polished, and refined 
by just wearing all one color. Tip number five I have for you is hire a tailor. If you go and look at a well-dressed person, one of the things you notice is that nothing is gaping, nothing is out of place, everything is perfectly where it should be. And it's because they get things not only custom made, but they also get them tailored. So you won't see gapping under the arm because they had somebody take it in here or nip it there. And you can do that for just a few dollars. If a hem needs to be put up on your jeans or on a skirt, do it. If a little tailoring nipping needs to be done under the arms or at the shoulders so that it fits you properly, go ahead and do it because number one, not only will you wear the clothes, but number two, you'll look expensive, pulled together and polished. Number six on my list is take good care of your clothes. This may seem obvious, but you would be surprised how many people do not take good care of their clothes. They throw them on the floor, they crumple them up, they don't wash them properly. So you wanna follow the care instructions, you wanna to hang to dry if needed, you wanna use a steam iron or an iron to press them properly if needed. Those things will make a huge difference in whether or not you look expensive. Number seven on my list is to choose natural fibers. Now in summertime, like we're in right now, think cotton, silk, linen, those are your more expensive summer fibers, but we're getting ready to go into winter. So you're gonna think wool, silk, cashmere, all of those fibers are gonna take you all through fall. And if you look for good quality natural fibers, they will stand up longer, they're better for the environment, and they are going to, best of all, make you look expensive. Number eight on my list, I wanna talk about where to invest your money. If you're saying, well, I don't have a big budget, I just don't even know what to buy. So like I said, you're gonna buy some basic pieces, the best quality pieces that you can afford. And if you aren't even sure about that, go check out one of my capsule wardrobe videos. I actually have a whole series. I'm gonna put the playlist here and that will give you some guidelines on how to build a capsule wardrobe using basic pieces. And I take like 12 or 13 pieces and show you how to turn them into 37 outfits or 45 outfits, show you how to mix and match and show so many outfits that you can dress for a month without changing up these few garments. So what you wanna do is that is your goal is you wanna build a capsule wardrobe of basics, but where you wanna spend your money are on some quality pieces like leather belts or leather shoes. Now, if you're into vegan, I understand that and you can opt out and go for vegan products. But if you're looking at very quality looking products that will last a long time, go for classic styles and go for leather and handmade products. So for example, if you're looking at fall, you're gonna go for, let's say you wanna look for a boot, go for a classic shaped boot. Or if you wanna look for a loafer, here's a classic loafer that's been around for years, it's gonna stay around for years. Or an Oxford, same thing, been around a long time. And these are the types of shoes that you're going to see a wealthier person wear anyway. So they're going to expect it, understand it, and it's going to give you an expensive look. Number nine on the list is modesty. Now, I'm not talking about modesty for religious sake. However, if that's what you wanna do, go for it. But what I'm talking about is modesty from a point of looking like you're showing too much. So for example, I'm here in Southern California. It's summertime. Yes, we live in a beach town. So people wear lots of cutoffs and tank tops, tube tops, but I can't tell you how many cutoff shorts I've seen with booties hanging out, with so much cleavage, belly rings, I just so much that guess what? If you think that's giving you an expensive look, it's absolutely not. Putting off too much sexual vibe. I like to think of it if your mother said, are you going out of the house in that? Then it's probably something that's not gonna look expensive. So you wanna go for something that may show a little cleavage or may show a little bit of a leg or a slit or something sexy, but it doesn't have to reveal all 
to give the element of pretty, sexy, and beautiful. And that's what's going to look more expensive. It's just a hint of beauty, playing up your beautiful assets instead of flaunting them all around. Number 10 on my list, wait before I reveal it, don't go anywhere because I have a little bonus one at the end for you. So number 10 on my list is grooming. Now, this is a big one and probably the biggest of all of these because if you go out in ratty old sweats, but you're all pulled together with your hair and makeup, you're actually gonna look pretty cute no matter what you have on. So grooming is important. Take good care of your nails. Put on a little makeup. It doesn't have to be a lot, but just a little. Go do your hair. Keep up with your haircuts. Make sure you're clean. Put on deodorant, a little perfume. All these things go a long way in giving you an expensive vibe. And the final bonus one I have for you is really nothing to do with your appearance, but it's all about the energy and feeling you exude. And that is, what are you putting out there to the world? Are you smiling? Are you happy? Are you pleasant to be around? Those are the things that are going to make you look more expensive than anything in the world that you could buy. If you are putting off that you are a beautiful person, you're lovely to be around, you attract people because they want to spend time with you, that is, to me, the key to life, looking beautiful and feeling expensive both inside and out. And I'll see you in the next video.